I have been lucky enough to see two species of shark in the wild. I had often wondered what my reaction would be if I saw one. I was diving with my husband and we were heading one way along a reef wall and the shark swam past us heading the other way. Well, we were so excited we turned around to follow it. We obviously could not keep up with it and it was so graceful as it cut its way through the water. We realised that, in our excitement, we were heading deeper which was not a good idea at this late stage of the dive. So we came to our senses and turned around and headed back up to shallower water. What we saw was a white tip reef shark, so called because they have the most beautiful white tips on the ends of their dorsal and caudal fins. Not to be confused with the oceanic white tip shark, which is much bigger. They have a greyish brown body which fades to a lighter colour as it reaches the underside and its sides are dotted with small dark spots. They are small sharks with females growing to just around 1.58 metres and the males to 1.68 metres and a maximum weight of 18.3 kilograms has been measured. White tip sharks live in the Indo-Pacific in shallow waters surrounding coral reefs at depths from 8 to 40 metres although they have been spotted at depths of 330 metres. They live in caves during the day and are more active at night although the one we saw was around during the day. They have small home ranges, anywhere from 0.2 to 1.8 miles, and they don't migrate. They will return to the same cave for months and even years at a time. They are quite sociable and can be found resting in their caves or on sandy bottoms in large groups, where they have been observed to pile on top of each other like logs. So cute. Unlike many sharks, they don't need to swim to be able to breathe they use a method called buckle pumping. In buckle pumping, the shark lowers the floor of their buckle cavity, that is the mouth, to draw oxygenated water into the mouth and then raise the floor to push the oxygen-rich water over their gills. This enables the sharks to be immobile for long periods of time but still get the oxygen that they need. In their upper jaw, they have 42 to 50 teeth and in the lower jaw, 42 to 48 teeth. There are at least two rows of teeth and each tooth has a single narrow, smooth-edged cusp at the centre, flanked by a pair of much smaller cusplets. The white tip reef shark hunts at night for prey, hiding in coral reef holes and crevices, although they are opportunistic feeders and will also hunt in the daytime. They can live for six weeks without food. They feed on octopuses, crustaceans and reef fish such as snappers, parrotfish and triggerfish. They use electroreceptors in their snouts to detect their prey. They will sometimes chase and trap their prey in crevices and then wriggle their slim bodies and snout into the crevice and under coral heads to get it. They have been observed twisting and turning violently and breaking coral to get to their prey, tearing their fins and skin in the process. A few sharks may target the same prey item and cover every exit route leading from a coral head. However, each shark hunts for itself and is in competition with the others in its group. White tip reef sharks are themselves preyed upon by larger fish, such as tiger sharks, and the stomach contents of giant grouper have been found to contain white tip reef sharks. They are known to reach a maximum age of 25 years, reaching sexual maturity at about 8. Anywhere between 1 to 11 males will follow a female into one gently nips her gill region. If she is interested, then the two will lie next to each other, with the male holding onto the female's pectoral fin with his mouth, making it quite hard for him to ventilate. With their heads close together on the bottom, and their bodies entwined, and extending up into the water column at an angle of about 45 degrees, the male inserts one of his claspers into her genital opening. Mating usually lasts between one and a half to three minutes. They are viviparous, which means that they give birth to live young. They hatch inside the female when the yolk supply runs out and the yolk sac is converted into a placental connection with the mother, similar to a mammal's umbilical cord. Once the pups are born, they are left for a few months with a scar between their pectoral fins, similar to a belly button. Just how cute is that? They give birth to one to five young after about 12 months gestation and the pups are around 52 to 60 centimetres long. White tip reef sharks have been classified as vulnerable by the IUCN and its numbers have dropped in recent decades 
due to increasing fishing pressures. Its restricted habitat, late age of maturity, slow reproduction rate and few offspring limit its ability to recover from overfishing. They are also susceptible to becoming bycatch in gillnet and longline fisheries. On the Great Barrier Reef, populations of white-tipped reef sharks in fishing zones have been reduced by 80% relative to no entry zones. Models have predicted that these depleted populations will continue to decline by 6.6 to 8.3% per year and that without proper enforced fisheries management it is believed that white tip reef sharks may become threatened with extinction throughout its range. In areas such as Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka and Madagascar they are caught by fishermen using long lines, gill nets and trawls for their meat and liver. However, it is not a good idea to eat these sharks as they present a risk of ciguatera poisoning which is caused by eating reef fish whose flesh is contaminated with ciguary toxin and metatoxin. These toxins are originally made by a small marine organism that grows on and around coral reefs in tropical and subtropical waters. These toxins are eaten by herbivorous fish and then they get concentrated up the food chain. These adorable small sharks deserve our attention, if they are not to be yet another animal that we push into extinction. The health of our coral reefs depend upon them, and coral reefs are already having to deal with climate change and are struggling as it is. Without reef sharks, there is a rise in the number of species of fish that feed upon herbivorous fish. As a consequence of this, the numbers of fish that feed on algae decline, and algae then overgrows the coral reef turning it into an algal dominated reef and reducing biodiversity. This in turn reduces the resilience of the reef to events such as coral bleaching and storms. Love them or fear them, these white tip reef sharks are vital to the health of our oceans and who could help but love a shark that has a belly button. Don't forget to send in your requests for your favourite shark. I have already had quite a few suggestions ranging from the majestic whale shark, the wobbegong and great whites. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.